Hello, Brickdark here. Today I'm reviewing the LEGO Marvel Avengers Iron Man Armory set, which has 5 minifigures, 258 pieces, and a retail price of $30 in the United States, where I believe it's a retail exclusive to Walmart. So here we have the best figure in the entire set, and it's the Iron Man prototype, where it's basically the Mark II. Really nice figure to get, uh, though I do wish they had just included, like, more interesting suits because while this is cool it's very similar to the mark one and yeah i guess there's enough differences but it used the same helmet piece and yeah clear head underneath not really too much going on here i mean i like what i see i like that it's very shiny but i, I wish they included either more exclusive suits or just a cooler exclusive suit because this one kind of drops the ball for me personally i like that we, we it's an exclusive one it's a suit we haven't seen before but it's not what a particularly interesting one in my opinion the tony stark minifigure included is an exclusive combination of pieces but none of the pieces are exclusive the torso is i believe owen grady's torso from the jurassic world sets from 2018 and beyond the faces are the same one that they've been using since the infinity war sets and it even got that interface on the back which looks pretty funny with the normal hair piece like it's meant to you're meant to swap it out and put it into one of the two iron man suits included which makes a lot of sense but yeah nice figure to get uh though there has been better tony starks so the Iron Man suit included is not rare at all. It comes in a mech set. It comes in all of the 2020 Avengers sets. But this one does have a unique build for it, where it's very similar to the Mark 50. Also comes with these pieces where you can push down and fire them every once in a while. And each of these can be adjusted. They do have some blue thrusts on the back using that Outrider back piece from the infinity war sets it is a clear head underneath so let's take off this back piece and all these other builds to get a better look at the figure so with all those pieces removed you can get a better look at the back torso printing and i don't think this figure is bad i want to make that clear it's just very common and for only you're only getting two iron man suits in this set and with one of them being this, I mean, I can understand it, but you're only getting two. And one of them is a figure that comes in a $10 set. That comes in every set, basically. And really just kind of feels disappointing. Because this figure is incredibly common. Finally, you get two aim soldiers and once again i don't think these figures are bad it's just disappointing to see them since they're so common these are also the ones that have the most basic weapon type and this is the weapon that comes in that falcon minifigure pack that i reviewed a couple days ago you can see the face print it's 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 a good figure it's a good army builder but it's like a stormtrooper you're not gonna go crazy over a stormtrooper's inclusion unless it's got like arm printing or something this is like a nice army builder thing but this is the iron man armory that has two iron man suits out of five minifigures i don't know if, if you want to have an assault maybe just give like uh aim soldier with more of a build like what they did with that like 20 dollar avengers bike set which i don't i still don't think that set's good but it had a more it had more of a build for the aim soldier instead of just these two little guns and that would have been cooler and also would have made the set feel more worth $30 because the set is very small for what you get. We're going to take a look at that now. So for the builds of the set, you have the armory, a hot rod build, and this little crate thing. Looking at the armory, this is the main build of the set and honestly, I find it very small and diminutive. This is maybe, this maybe feels like twenty dollars worth at most feels a lot more like ten the amount of pieces that you're that's being used here and just in general it's just very small you can adjust this of course and then you can have these clips on the side and that's so it can attach to the hall of honor which i think is a much better set that, that set had its problems but this set it's much still much better than this set you do have this bar on the side which on the box they show it holding this that doesn't look too good. Now you do have a bunch of different 
stickers for the different suits. I believe this one is for this Iron Man. The one here is the War Machine, which I find very weird. Um, because then the other one right here is for the Prototype Iron Man, which is included in this set, and that's all fine and dandy. And then you have the final sticker here is for, I think it's Blazer, which comes in the Avengers Tower. Now, what I really don't understand is, it doesn't make sense for War Machine's armor to be in Iron Man's Hall of Armor. Like, just have this be Taser. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. And so you do have some other stickers right here that are just attached. And they do kind of make it a bit hard to get a figure in there, but it's not a big deal. Then you do have this little build to the side, and this is something I didn't really like with the Hall of Armor. You just get a bunch of these builds that take up armor slots. This time you have a wrench and a fire hydrant. Whoopee. And then over here you have probably one of the best builds of the set. And it's this little lab. You do get that really cool Iron Man micro figure. And here you do get a space. So here's a better look at that. Really cool. I'm not sure if this is exclusive. It might be the same one that comes in the helicarrier, but regardless, it's really nice to get this. Do you have a little control print as well as a sticker for some diagnostics? This is probably the best, like one of the best builds in the entire set. So yeah, that that's literally the armory for you. Really, really small. I think there should have been like at least at least another one of these for taser at least should we keep the war machine armor maybe even have maybe in place it was rescue because that would make a bit more sense but there should be at least have been one for blazer and taser but there isn't and that's honestly really sad because i think at least probably one or two more would have made the set feel a lot more worth thirty dollars as it stands, I don't think this set is worth $30. I mean, you do get two other builds, and I don't really like either of them, so we're going to take a look at them right now. Here's this hot rod, which I really don't like, this inclusion. I, I think it's a poor build, but also, I just really, really do not like just its inclusion, because this is using up pieces that could have been used for a fifth armor compartment for Taser, for the Taser armor. But it goes to this dinky little thing, but they don't really flush it out enough. Lego has made much better hot rod designs, in my opinion, and this just really drops the ball. You have some nice-ish flame stickers on the side, as well as a license plate. They do have stud shooters as the exhaust, so that's a nice play feature. The engine design up front, I don't like this red, and I... I mean, I guess it's in the seat, but that makes a bit more sense because it's in the seat. Don't really like this red they use for it. You can have a minifigure inside of the hot rod, which makes it look so much... Ugh. Doesn't... It just looks really wrong. And you do get some nice wheel pieces that aren't super common, but... Again, this is using up pieces that could have been used for a fifth... Possibly even a sixth armor slot, and it's used for this build, and it isn't even a good build. So, as you can see, I'm, I don't really like this. Comparatively, I think this little crate is fine. It doesn't it doesn't use enough pieces to really take away from another armor thing like a hot rod does. You have two stickers on the crate, which says Tony's Toys. There's nothing in the crate. You also have this thing. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. It looks... I don't know, it, 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 I literally, I, I literally had an aneurysm trying to figure out what on earth this is. I, I don't even know. You do have the red cup, which I learned, Lego puts the red cup in, I think, sets that they're really proud of, like some of their best sets. Now, that does, that does not belong in this set. You do have a decent sandwich design, like I will say the sandwich is pretty cool. Again, I'm fine with this build because it doesn't use enough pieces that would take away from a fifth armor slot. Um, but the hot rod does. But yeah, that's literally it for the builds of this set. You have this, this, and this. And all of this together, I would say, is like 20 bucks at most. Not 30. Like, don't pay for this at full price. But 
let's take a look at the box and the instructions, and then I'll give my final thoughts summarized. The box for this is like a thicker $20 box, I think, which is the price this set should have been, but alas. Now, interesting. They have Iron Man wearing, like, this is the same Iron Man that's featured right here, but he has the MCU helmet, which I just noticed looking back at the box, which I find very interesting, because this is the Invincible Iron Man helmet. This is the MCU helmet that can actually flip up into two pieces. Quite interesting. The instructions have an ad for the other summer sets. The only one I really like is Avengers Tower. I might get the Hulkbuster, but I think it looks stupid, like really stupid. This is the Tom and Jerry Hulkbuster. And then this is the Junior's Helicarrier, which isn't a Junior set, but it looks like a Junior set, so. So overall, I'm actually rather disappointed with this set. I saw the pictures of this and I thought, okay, I don't love that there's the hot rod included, but it's okay. And then I got it in hand and I realized just how small this set is. This, this set is really small. Like, this set is tiny. The, the figure selection is also pretty disappointing. Like, none of the figures are bad, but the choice and the choices is just where it's lacking. One exclusive Iron Man suit, and it's not even a super interesting one. Like, yeah, the prototype Iron Man Mark II, that's a nice armor, but it's not, like, the most, oh, I really want this armor. Like, the Hall of Armor had, like, the Mark I and the Mark 43, I want to say, which were, like, very unique like, Iron Man suits, and that was really cool. And you only get these two Iron Man suits. This one comes in every single Summer and Avengers set, plus the $10 mech. The Tony Stark figure, I think it's fine, like, get, get, I don't really care. The AIM soldiers, I don't like that they included two. What they should have done, in my opinion, is like, you can keep these two figures, that's fine. But add another Iron Man suit, take out one of these AIM soldiers, and just give this guy, like, some sort of crazy build, like they did in the uh, Avengers bike set from January 2020. Onto the build itself, again, it's very small. It is super small. The Hot Rod build just uses up a bunch of pieces that could have gone to having a fifth and possibly sixth armor slot for the taser and the rescue armor, which really, I don't understand why they have War Machine, but not taser. It should be the Iron Man suits and then, like, the other Iron people, because... Then you're just left with the, where do I put Taser? Because this is where War Machine goes. And it just... It, it really doesn't make sense why they chose War Machine. Because, like, the way it should have been is you have this armor. The Aven the Square Enix armor, as I'll call it. Mark II, and then the Blazer and Taser armor. that Those came in the Avengers Tower. I like this little build for the, like, whatever that is. I think that's nice. Hot Rod is just, it wastes pieces, and it doesn't waste them well. I think it just looks dumb. Like, it was made much better Hot Rod designs, and about the same size. The little, like, sandwich on top of the crate thing, that's fine. It doesn't use enough pieces to take away from there being another armor, so I'm fine with that. So, everything considered... I'm giving this a new lowest score I think I've ever given out to a set, which is a 5.5 out of 10. Do not buy this for $30. If you already have the Hall of Armor, this is an alright expansion, but for $30, yeah, don't buy this. Wait for it to be on sale for at most $20. That's, that's the most I think you should be paying for this set. Really, just the figure selection, 
Like, five figures is nice, but the figure choices are not. And then the build itself is really small, and it's not $30 worth, in my opinion. And, yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this pretty negative review. See you guys later. Peace.